Hello everyone, uh, welcome to this session. So here, you're going to learn how to allow or deny certain VLANs uh, through the trunk interface. So trunk interface is the interface that connects switch to switch. So under circum certain circumstances, you may need to allow or deny certain VLANs through the trunk interface for security purposes. So let's assume uh, there's a strange or unknown VLAN that has been configured in the, in the network. By default, trunk interfaces allows all the VLANs. So for security purposes, we should take our initiative to allow only the necessary VLANs to pass through the trunk interface. Okay, right. So before I go through this PPT, allow me to show you on our Google spreadsheet and inform you that today we are go we're going to uh, cover trunk allowed or denied VLANs. So as I mentioned earlier, this is just a method to deny, allow or deny certain VLAN through the trunk interfaces. And basically it's used for Security purposes. Okay, All right, All right. So here is the command. Here is how to uh, configure the uh, the trunk allowed or denied VLANs. So first of all, we need to enter the trunk interface and implement any of the followings. So if you uh, if we take this first command, which is trunk allowed VLAN 150, it will only allow VLAN 150 but deny all other VLANs. Trunk allowed VLAN all will allow all VLAN. Trunk allowed VLAN none will not allow any VLAN. Trunk allowed VLAN that one, that one, that one will only allow that number of specified VLANs. And finally, trunk allowed VLAN except 50 will allow all VLAN except VLAN 50. Okay, right. So let's get this into practice. So already I have this diagram on GNS3. So you have two switches, uh, layer three switches, but you can as well implement it on a layer two switch. Okay. And I have three, three computers on each side and three villains on each side. Okay. Right. So what I need to do just to do connection very, very fast to save time. Okay. So my first, first connection will be switch to switch. Okay. Perfect. So I've done the connection between switch to switch and the computers. So the second thing that I'm going to do is to configure the VLANs. Remember, we want to restrict VLANs that are going through the trunk. So we need to configure those VLANs first, right? Okay. So what I'm going to do, uh, let me just go, uh, sorry, we need to, to need to start all these devices first before maybe we do configuration. Okay, so after starting the devices, I'll just go into each individual switch and configure VLANs. So, uh, VLANs, actually we need three VLANs here. So, the configuration will be very easy. So, config T. Then I'm going to configure the VLANs. First of all, I've just uh, set the host name to be... Okay, so let me just do the VLANs very, very fast. So, I've done three VLANs. On this switch as well I'll do on the other switch okay okay so I've configured the three VLANs so you can just say do show VLAN okay you will see all the three VLANs plus the name okay right so the second thing that you need to do is to enable trunk so F00 on this side and F00 on this side should be trunk so I'm just gonna go here and say interface at 0 slash 0 switch port trunk encapsulation dot one q okay then switch port mod trunk exit and do right so the same i'll do on the other switch okay all right so let me just go to that switch to do our trunk configuration very very fast okay so i've done trunk configuration in both the switches. So uh, the third step is to configure these interfaces to um, to apply 
VLAN numbers to these particular interfaces, okay? So this one, at 01 is VLAN 10, at, at 02, at, at 03 is VLAN 20, then at, at, at 02 is VLAN 30, okay? So let me just do them very, very fast. Okay, so you do the same on the other switch, okay? All right, so you allocate each interface a VLAN ID. So at 01 is VLAN 30 on this side, uh, at 03 is VLAN 20, and at 02 is VLAN 10, okay? Perfect. So I've done um, trunk, con trunk configuration as well, as well as sending ports, VLAN numbers, okay? So how do we configure um, a trunk loud or denied VLANs? So we do them on a trunk interface, okay? All right, so I'm just going to the trunk interface. Exit. Interface, it was interface at... 0 plus 0, okay? And then, we we only want to allow the VLANs that we've just created, okay? So just say switch port, trunk, VLAN, allowed VLAN, sorry, switch port, trunk, allowed VLAN, we created how many VLANs? Three VLANs, but there's always a default VLAN, which is VLAN 1, okay? So we have to uh, include it, okay? So it's VLAN 1, then VLAN 10, VLAN 20, then VLAN 30. This is a default VLAN. VLAN number 1 is always default, okay? Then you just hit enter. Perfect. Exit. Do right. Perfect. Then we need to do that the same thing on the other switch. We need to only allow these VLANs, okay? Right. So just go here and exit interface at 0 plus 0 okay then we put a trunk allowed vlan to be the default vlan then number 10 number 20 and 30 and you hit enter exit do show do right okay then do show interface trunk Let me, let's check that Perfect. So when I say do show interface trunk, the interface is F00, okay? The mode is on, encapsulation is 802.1q, its status is trunking, and the port 8 F00. And how many VLANs are allowed? 1, 10, 20, 30, okay? All right. So any other VLAN created in this network will not be able to pass through the trunk interface unless it's administratively allowed by network admin, okay? So thank you so much, guys. I believe you learned how to uh, allow or deny villains through the trunk interface. Bye-bye.